Before I show off this last toy, I just wanted to thank all of you for all the support for me for 2023. My channel has grown so fast and so crazily, and doing this kind of 12 days of Botsmas thing is very different for my channel. I normally kind of keep it to just Transformers and, you know, just Star Wars, but I really just wanted to show off the broader spectrum of my toy collecting for those that, you know, otherwise may not really know that I just like giant robots and other toys and collectibles. But I had to return to my roots for the last day, and I really have been wanting to talk about this toy all year. This is... Legacy Evolution Commander Class Armada Optimus Prime. Yeah, I had to. This toy is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, you'll likely see it again on like my top 10 robots of the year. You probably will. Uh, but let's just kind of, you know, look at the individual components. This isn't going to be a full on review. But I had to talk about this toy, and I will show off like this individual robot and you know the combined form. Uh, this truck is incredible. I love how heavy it is. Like even though this is like a Voyager-sized Optimus, I, I forgot to slide that. Uh, <laughs> even though this is a Voyager-sized Optimus, I feel like it feels a little bit heavier. You know, I can tell that there's a lot more substantial, you know, heft to this. And I really respect that. The paint is incredible. The sculpt is so sharp. I'm sure, you can just see the hands back there, but who cares? Who cares? Most of the time, you're going to have this thing with the trailer, and the trailer is super cool. I love the look of the trailer. It's big and bulky. It's got, like, missile pods and big old cannons. I love these big chunks on the side. It just gives it so much heft. Uh, it doesn't have, like, the... You know, motorized function like the original did. I might get the original someday, but honestly, as someone who's not like a big Armada fan, I got into Transformers with Cybertron. Armada was just a little too early for me. Uh, this really satisfies my desire for an Armada Optimus. This trailer, like it's so heavy. There's so much plastic going on here. Uh, so that's pretty much the, the vehicle mode. Let's get into this individual robot mode. So the transformation is pretty simple and pretty fun. It's it's Armada Optimus, you know. That's what it is. I have to be careful with my thumbnail. I hope no one's oh jeez. I hope no one's commented like, oh you, you got a dirty thumbnail. No, it's not dirty. I hurt it. <laughs> I hurt my thumbnail. Uh, so I apologize for like the slight little coloration to it, but kind of had to be careful with moving my thumbnail because I keep it long to like pry at toys and wedge things. You can't really do that when it's Earth, can you? Uh, this robot, dude. It's it's so classic Armada Optimus. It is just so good. It's so nicely done. Like you can already tell. Like this is this is looking good. This is looking real good. Uh, just need to get these wheels flipped down. Flip these little panels out. Flip his little feet out. And that's pretty much it. Just separate these legs here. Not the waist, just the legs, please. And this little back skirt. And here we go. Here we have the basic robot mode for Armada Prime. Oop. And after some little readjustments, here we go. Here we have the main robot mode for Armada Prime. And it is just so cool. Look at that head sculpt, dude. That is crisp. That is so clearly Armada Optimus. I cannot get over that. It even has like the blue above the mouth plate. That looks so good. It does have the Matrix of Leadership in the chest as well, which for me is a necessity for any modern Optimus Prime, and I think they did a great job with that. It is removable too, but again, with my thumbnail, I don't want to try to pry it out. Uh, it's just really fun and chunky. Uh, I forgot to flip his hands. <laughs> I forgot to flip his hands. Uh, but yeah, it's just so cool. You can take his, his cannon, his gun, you can put it in his hand. He does have the guns that are along the side of his arms, too. So it just gives him some extra firepower. And yeah, this is like a proper Voyager-sized Optimus. Uh, I, I love it. I really do. I kind of hope they, like, just repaint this mold as just and just sell this as a Voyager or something someday. I don't know. I just wouldn't mind having just this. But there is ultimately the combined form, too. The super mode. I have to show that off. I love how clicky he is, too. He just feels so chonky. He really does kind of feel like a modern Armada toy, and I really respect that. So yeah, let's get him in a super mode. You can kind of see his articulation. It's pretty modern. It's it's good articulation. So getting him off to the side. This is an almost, like, perfect toy. They did such a good job engineering this. Uh, let, me, uh, let me raise the camera up a bit. <laughs> 
this toy is gonna get big. It is gonna get huge. Uh, one thing about it that I've always kind of been confused about is this, uh, like, little platform piece, because you can, like, remove this. I don't know, it's just kind of down there. Uh, I don't really care to find out its additional functionality, because for me, it's just, like, a thing that's, you know, a, a, a thing about this toy, you know? I'm not, I'm not stressing about it. Uh, but we can get all these panels undone. And then this thing, it just kind of flips around and kind of connects back here and makes this big ol' ugly uh, backpack thing. There we go, there's his butt flap. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's just big and fun and chunky, and I just really enjoy this. Uh, it's really just kind of harkens back to what I enjoy about, you know, mid-2000s Transformers. It's like that big, chunky feeling, that substantiality to it. I feel like this figure just really brings it back. Yes, it's at the Commander class price point, but I really do feel like this is one of the most recent Commanders that feels like it is worth the Commander class price. It really, really does. Alrighty, this is pretty much ready for Optimus to dock onto it. Let's transform Optimus. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty difficult to do with like 12 other figures on the desk, but I think I'm doing a good job. I, and also I'm not doing like a big full review of this either, so it's uh, making it a little easier that I don't have to worry about covering every little detail on this guy, because I'm just showing it off for you. So we pretty much get him similarly back into the, uh, the whatchamacallit mode. <laughs> yeah, the whatchamacallit mode, that's what it's called. The truck mode. We are going to modify it a little bit. We're going to uh, make sure that it's compatible with the fact that he is going to be uh, a body. He's going to be a body boy, and that's very fun. So I'm pretty sure these go back in, and that kind of stays down like that. I think the arms, don't the arms do like a flip me do? No, they kind of like... They're gonna be like that, yeah. And I like flipping the hands back so you can just kind of hide the fingers. That's why they were flipped a little earlier because I keep them in super mode, why wouldn't I? Uh, we take these and we flip these out and this is gonna be like his new shoulders. I always kind of love when like legs turn into arms for like a super robot. It's like, oh yeah, the tiny robot, his arms were just, you know, or his legs are now the arms because his new hands and arms are just that humongous. Uh, so we want to make sure that this is all flip me dude. And we want to make sure this is configured properly. You have to like flip the toe in and then flip this around and then flip the toe back. It's kind of an order of operations thing that kind of stumps you a little bit. But there's one of the big old hands. Oddly enough, it doesn't have the like Commander Jetfire gimmick where like the port goes away when you open or close it, but it still has like the port and the moving fingers, so I can kind of forgive it. Uh, and then we're gonna do the same thing to the other arm here, and I'd love to save the head reveal until the end, but I really can't. It's just the nature of uh, the design here. We do want to make sure that's pushed down. I know that, I think that pushes back for the truck. Did I confuse that? I don't remember, I don't really care. Maybe I had it right for the truck and I'm just a goofball. Uh, I'm sure someone's in the comments correcting me. But here we go, here's Optimus in his mode. He's all ready to go. So we're gonna take this back section here. We're gonna flip this panel up. That's gonna fill out the shoulders. Uh, this back panel is gonna like feed in back there. It just kind of feeds in. I hope that silver paint doesn't get scratched up someday. We connect that, and then we drop him down. And here we go. Almost. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait. I forgot. There we go. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I've talked about, like, 11 other toys before this. Give me a break. All right. Here we go. Here is Armada commander class optimus prime in his super mode and this figure is absolutely fantastic it's super big it's super chonky it's super fun i love the big backpack i love the missiles over his shoulders i love how big and chonky his legs are my only real complaint with him uh i kind of don't like the uni skirt too much but it, you can work with it you know you can kind of move it out of the way you can work with it but my only complaint with him is when you move the arms forward instead of the shoulders moving, it just breaks apart that panel and you get that look instead. Now, I mean, it's not a bad look, but it's that's what's supposed to move. So whenever you want to move the shoulders, you have to like move them at the shoulders instead of down at the arm because it's just not going to work out. That's like my only complaint. 
Other than that, this thing's amazing. I know some people are kind of upset it didn't come with a Minicon and doesn't have, like, Minicon compatibility. I'm not really, you know, a child of Armada, so that's not really a complaint that I've personally resonated with with this guy. But still, it's it's awesome for me. I absolutely love it. Articulation's fantastic. His, his leg got stuck on the side panel. That's what I was doing down there. Uh, I just, I love it. It's big, it's chonky. You can see it's huge. It's like the size of Zane's Titan mech. This is a very large toy, but I had to show it off on the channel. I absolutely had to. That head sculpt is amazing. I love like the smokestack exhaust looking helmet. It is just so sweet. I love the gold too. It just makes him look even more super. So yeah, here we go. Here's the last day of the 12 days of Botsmas. Good old Armada Commander Class Optimus. I'm just making a mess of everything else. That's how it always goes, isn't it? Moving him back so we actually have some space to show off everything. This was pretty fun. This was pretty fun for me. I probably am not going to do this again. I'm probably not going to do a 12 Days of Botsmas 2. I just kind of want to show off some random robots. And, you know, this is something that really interests me right now, especially in my toy collecting space. I am very interested in robots and robot toys nowadays. I mean, especially Transformers, obviously, they're my number one. But still, like other ones, Gundam, 30-minute missions, even getting some Lego mechs, uh, random things I just find on BBTS, things from my childhood. There's a whole, like, rabbit hole of robot toys that I've only kind of now started to dip into. And Tie Tank here is definitely one of the biggest inspirations for it. Uh, his torso joint is giving out even more. I, I really need to change his build. <laughs> so yeah, tons of fun stuff for the 12 days of Botsmas. Let me know what your favorite is. Let me know if you've seen something here that you've never seen before. Uh, let me know if there's something here that personally resonates with you and you're more familiar with. Let me know if there's something that, you know, I've discussed that I said I don't really know about that you know more about and want to share information about. You know, let me know. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this. Definitely different. You know, still have the holiday music, obviously, to kind of keep it in theme. But I, you know, just want to change it up see how this goes. Some videos I know are going to have more views than others, but I really just want to thank you guys for an awesome 2023. This has, for me, been a very transformative year. Uh, I've had a lot of big life changes, and uh, yeah, it's it's been good. It's been difficult. It's been amazing. Uh, it's It's been a lot of things, but especially for my YouTube channel, it's been very exciting. Uh, it is becoming more and more difficult to keep up with it, unfortunately. Like, I had to take the majority of an off day just to make this video. But I really hope you guys enjoy it. I really hope you do. Well, I say this video. I shot this all in, like, one hour, like a big one-hour stretch. But I'm going to, like, chop it up into, you know, 12 different videos. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about these. I really had a lot of fun. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching throughout the entire year. A uh, special shout out to channel members as well. Thank you all so much for the continued support. I really appreciate it. I know I haven't given you guys as much as I really promised when I started the channel membership. And I feel bad about that. I really want to try for 2024. I want to make the channel membership more worth it for you guys. It's been very difficult for me to keep up with it and keep up with regular content. But I'm trying my best. Uh, and ultimately, that's all we can kind of do, especially with how life has been, especially since like 2020. Uh, just try your best. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one and Merry Christmas. Bye.